the sad ongoing investigation comments is complete bull and today we're going to get into that regarding Shinquella. I'm going to give you some examples with Khalil and we're going to be talking about some lies going around regarding the Secura case. My name is Matthew and welcome back to my channel where I talk about cases that I feel need to be spoken about. Guys these stories are so important to get out there. So leave a comment and give a like when you want pressure on these cases because these stories have to keep going. So recently the White House had like some type of conference and you guys wanted me to talk about this and a reporter was bringing up Shankwella. Let's watch it. A letter to the White House about this case. This young woman was killed in Mexico in October of last year. The suspect is in this country along with those back here, along with those who were present during the, the, the deadly beating, okay? He sent a letter asking for extradition of the suspect to Mexico for the Mexican authorities to deal with, or if not, take jurisdiction of it here and deal with it. What's next? What's the White House willing to do? So let me just first say our hearts go out to uh, Ms. Robinson's family um, and friends. It is devastating what occurred, uh, and certainly, um, uh, the, the tragedy is just devastating and we've been following the news here uh, but because uh, because there's an FBI un investigation underway there's very little that we can say uh, we got to as you know we are very careful about um, criminal investigations or any uh, investigations that are, are currently happening uh, through DOJ in this particular case FBI but our hearts go out uh, to um what investigation it's a extradition you feel me? The Apparently, according to Mexico. We would like to have her extradited to Mexico, and, they, and we have already submitted all the paperwork necessary. If the U.S. government does not want to extradite, we are willing to turn over the case so that they can prosecute um, in, in America. So the Mexican government has said, we've done everything that we need to do. Now, they also said, which I think is important, if there is another piece, an outstanding piece that we have not handled, please let us know so that we can do our job to ensure that this case is handled and that and that the people who are responsible for her death are brought to justice. They have sent everything and they are now waiting for an extradition. Why would that be an ongoing investigation? It's not even, I don't even think it's America's job to do an investigation anymore. Everything is handling in Mexico. So what is it that they're investigating? Either maybe I'm wrong and I'm ignorant to the fact that maybe there's stuff that's going on, but from my understanding, it's an extradition process, that's it. What type of investigation needs to be happening? Simple, this is what we want, give it to us. So either there's something going on here, Mexico is lying, and maybe they need to do an investigation to see what's going on because of what Mexico has said, or these people are not being honest because nothing is happening. And they don't have no idea how to tell the sad truth. The sad truth that nothing is happening. But let's keep watching. Again, to, to the, the families, families and, and I would have, have to refer you to, to the DOJ, DOJ and the State, State Department, Department on this. I love this reporter. She's like, well, well, let me ask you this though. Yeah, push it in her. FBI investigation, does that mean nothing happens until the investigation is complete? Or, I mean, could, I mean, the United States has extradition, an extradition treaty with Mexico. Is, it, is all of this contingent upon the FBI investigation? What I can say is there's an investigation going on. So <laughs> <laughs> She's just palming off the answer. Yeah, I ain't going to answer that. We all I'm gonna say is that an ongoing investigation going on. This is something that the FBI has to speak to, so that's why I'm referring you to the Department of Justice, uh, and it's also an issue of the State Department again. So would refer you to the State Department as it relates uh, to another country and the diplomatic conversations that occur there. Uh, but uh, again, this is something that we're clearly following here, uh, and uh, our hearts go out to her family. Clearly following. Interesting. Last question on this though. Are they <laughs> Last question on this though. Okay, well let's see what she got. Abilities for the United States to take jurisdiction over this if it doesn't go if if the suspect is not extradited back. Look, April, I understand the question and I appreciate the questions. She's not asking you anything about investigation. She's asking you, are you gonna take over? Simple, yes or no? 
all important questions to ask of me, but again, there's an ongoing investigation, so I would refer to the Department of Justice. Process, not necessarily the investigation. Yeah, give it to her. She's like, oh shit. <laughs> I don't know. She got me here. Look at her face. She's like, she got me. But there, is a, but there is a process that's currently happening because of the investigation, so I would refer you to the Department of Justice and also the State Department as there are, you know, this is a diplomatic issue uh, that needs to be handled on, on that end. So is she hinting something? Is she telling us, like, look, there's an ongoing investigation, there's a process that's going through right now, and, um, but what? What is this process? Again, I wish... The Black Lives Matter activists mentioned what day this red folder, whatever, was sent. I feel if they were able to tell us and give us an exact date, we might be able to work out how long it's actually going to take for this extradition. But it doesn't make sense that it's an ongoing investigation. You got everything you need, just send her off. Apparently, they got everything they need. That's if Mexico is telling the whole truth. Because let's look at another example, Khalil Azad. Now, if you guys haven't seen that video, please go that, watch that video. I have everything explained, everything in detail. When the family wanted to see the cam footage, the officers made it difficult. Apparently, they said that it was an ongoing investigation. Then they told the family that they're going to need an attorney. Now, I'm not sure if the family end up getting an attorney, but down the line, they end up having a, a protest. And that protest pressured the police. It pressured the police so bad that they weren't even at their office when they, were, when they found out they were going to protest in front of their office. Boom, they were gone. Until the protest happened, that's when they released six cam footages, three body cam footages, and three car footages. And that still wasn't even all the cam footage. You got the helicopter, you got the bald guy I was talking about in the video. There's so much footage that is missing, and it's very sus when you have photos of a man whose face looks like it has been beaten. Yes, swollen from water, but there was a lot of questionable things on that face that looked like it was beaten, and they do not want to release the other cam footages. Why? If you were confident, if you had some type of empathy, you really cared about what people think, when you released those shitty three video footages, you would have released the other video footages, but they didn't. So go check out that video, so important. And another case, um, Sakira. Shout out to Jolanda, I'm s I feel so bad for her, right? It was her birthday recently and she's celebrating her birthday not knowing if her daughter is alive or if her daughter has passed. She has no closure at all and just like Khalil's family, I believe it was around the same time, which, which is crazy to me, around the same time. She has had no answers. She was told that she was going to get a final police report by February and still she does not have that report. People lied on the internet, AKA Aiden, the man that apparently was friends with Sakura, try to make out as if it was wrong for the mother to do what she did to get this information out there so she can get some type of answers because she wasn't. And he even told One Life TV. Internet, she, Jamanda has everything. Like she has all of the their information in order to misinform everybody. Mind you, all of this paperwork, all of the paperwork that she's talking about, that she's waiting for in February 2023, I promise the guy she already has. Literally, she's the only one that has to have it. She was Kira's parent and guardian. So people were running around saying she probably has this final report. She's just dragging it for this, dragging it for that. People just making up bull rumors just to go with their narrative and what they feel instead of looking at the actual facts. Well, due to Simply Anne, shout out to her if you need help with your research and your videos, hit her up, IG link below. She um, asked for a police report and we got this in return. It's not finished yet. You have had all this time and still don't have answers. And Aiden, maybe you need to tell your friends to go talk to the police and help them out or something because Clearly, they're missing something. And I can't help but to feel this is just 
another excuse with the Shanquella situation. It's an ongoing investigation because we have no idea what the hell's going on. And once you see my other video that's in the making, it's pretty sad. There's a dark truth to this. So something strange is going on and I understand people want to blame Mexico a lot of the time. But I also think it's an American issue too. So now we are back in the middle of the fence. We have no idea what the F is going on. And it's so unfair. People don't deserve to go through this type of bullshit. But hey guys, maybe I'm completely wrong. I want to hear your opinions. I'll probably upload your opinions on my YouTube shorts. So look out for that. And if you haven't seen this video of Khalil, please go see that guys. It's crazy that this is happening in America. I suggest you go check that out.